is what I guys welcome back to clash with Eric guys it's no secret that the wizard blizzard attack is the strongest attack in clash of clans right now but it's not just limited to lalo attacks like we saw the queen walkers using it in legend League the other day you can actually pair this with all kinds of different strategies and we're gonna go look at a couple of those today the first one we're looking at is actually gonna be a blizzard drag bat but you can also pair with ground attacks, which is really cool. So we're going to go dive into all that today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, don't forget to use code Eric before you make any in-app purchase. Guys, let's go dive into Wind's attack here and see what he did on this base. He's got eight dragons. He's got three invisibility spells and he has five bat spells. The rage and the invisibility spells are obviously for the blimp. It's got super wizards inside. It can be paired with archers, like five archers, goblins, or I guess you could uh, throw five of any small troop in there just to go in and uh, trigger some traps in front of the wizards. And then you just make them invisible. So also pay attention to the timing of how they use their spells when they make that drop there. They start off by opening the, the blimp right into an invisibility spell. Then they cast the rage. You can cast a rage in advance, but with the length of the invisibility spells, you got about, uh, depending on how many invisibility spells you use, you have about 13 and a half seconds, or maybe you have 18 seconds. So you do have a little bit of time there that you want the rage to be active for. And if you pop the rage before the blimp opens, then it may not actually last the entire length of the invisibility and you may not be able to have all rage shots, but they might actually move out of it anyways. Just something to think about there. But he pops in the Royal Champion. The Royal Champion goes in there with the King, takes out a single Inferno with one of his freezes, and now he's down to one freeze. The Queen on the other side goes in with an Ice Golem, and she's going after some air defenses over there and also getting down the enemy row champion and then the dragons are rushing the remaining splash damage on the base so we have the scatter we have a wizard tower and another wizard tower and that's all we need to get out of the way there for the dragons but we want to make sure that the dragons are nicely funneled so the town hall was taken on the opposite side and that wasn't really used as a funnel he used the king and the row champion to form one side of the funnel he used the queen to form the other side and he just made so he doesn't even have to deal with the uh, town hall on the other side because he already nuked out the entire section of the base. So now we can set in the bats. They come in super late in the attack after he set up the dragons to be well protected. And then they can easily sweep through and grab the rest of the defenses. Honestly, he probably could have swagged the bats on this one. It was really, really uh, well set up here. Probably didn't need them. But we have another attack here because he did get the six pack with this strategy. And we'll go check out his other one right now. So Wynn did get the six pack with this attack. It's a really cool attack. I'm really impressed with this. So once again, watch where the sweepers are. The blimp preferably doesn't fight a sweeper or if it does, you are able to drop it before the actual burst of air hits the blimp and knocks it back. Sometimes if the burst of air is on its way to you, you can drop the blimp right under it and then you kind of dodge it. But you can see here, the Scattershot got a hit off there and killed some of the wizards. And then the other one stepped out of the invisibility spell and they ended up dying. So he didn't get near as much value, but he still took out a big chunk of the base here. Now he can come in with a Yeti, some wizards up on the top side, baby dragon to form a funnel on the bottom side. And he's sending out the, he's sending the heroes in to go and take out the single Inferno. Like I'm not entirely sure why he chose to go after that single Inferno. I feel like maybe it might have been better to just go to like this top compartment and just send the dragons right to this single, but it kind of worked out nice for him here. He has to fight out the CC and he didn't bring a poison. So fighting off a hound, uh, he had to throw in an extra dragon there just to go help out with the queen. Um, he had the king there and the king ended up dying. But either way, the dragon and the queen were able to go in here and finish this funnel for the dragons. And then he can have the dragons go right into the town hall. Look at this baby dragon down on the bottom side here. With all the defenses cleared out in the area, the baby dragon just has free reign over everything and it just wrecks on through. So the queen ultimately grabs an air defense up on the top side and then the dragons come in through the town hall. I don't know if this was the original plan. I think maybe he thought the heroes would be able to get the town hall down after the wizards didn't get it. Or maybe he thought the wizards would get the town hall. But either way, we see that the dragons choose an entry that doesn't have them fight a sweeper. We have the road champion. She comes in the top corner and he collapses it from there. And then the bats come in the bottom corner where he has uh, very few splash damage over there or really none. 
and he has almost no point defenses that are fast firing like Expos or Teslas. So the bats easily sleep through that area. The dragons meet up with the uh, Royal Champion and the bats in the middle. And then he just has this last wizard tower to deal with and he's pretty much going free from there. Now, if the bats don't get out of the middle of the base there and the dragons for that matter with a lot of force left, then time could potentially be an issue with an attack like this. So maybe it's worth it just to bring in a couple minions because like if all the dragons here all went the same direction, then it could have really uh, turned this into a time fail, right? So I recommend you bring a couple minions. He did have a couple. I'm not sure where he ended up using them, but they're not standing right now. And minions can be very, very important to prevent time fails. And just for a couple of uh, troop space there, they're definitely worth it because they can uh, relieve that uh, time fail a lot of times. And I, I highly recommend it. So he, he overkilled it here, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. But he got it. And we're actually going to go look at uh, Tricky's attack, the leader of one hive. All right, so Tricky came in with a queen charge hybrid with the wizard blizzard. He still gets a lot of spell support here with the actual Queen Charge and the Hybrid. So if he can get good value out of the Wizard Blizzard, it really sets this up very, very strongly. So he dropped in a couple of blues there just to go search for Black Mines. He pre-dropped the Rage before he dropped the Blimp just because that is such a, a short travel time. And then he makes the Wizards Invisible and just nukes the area out. Like a couple of them even step out of the uh, invisibility there for a second. And then the Scattershot takes him out. Luckily, one survived there and didn't die to the scatter and it ultimately takes out a couple extra buildings there but now he can come in with the queen he has the cc pull so it works very similar to like a, a yeti blimp and in fact it's just a couple extra spells more than a yeti blimp there so is it worth all those extra defenses going down to to toss in those couple extra spells i would say the majority of the time yes however i do want to point out that look at this scatter shot over here Whenever we chain off of the town hall to a scatter shot on the other side of it, it never has enough to actually destroy the scatter shot. So I'm considering starting to bring like a lightning spell or I got to calculate exactly how much damage a scatter shot would potentially need to have on it to be able to finish going down after it chains off the town hall or the eagle artillery for that matter. And I wonder if it would be worth it to bring an extra lightning just to go take out a scatter shot that's left at low health, you know? Like, one lightning just to finish it off there? That could be huge, guys. That could uh, save a heal spell later in the attack. Because now he has the hybrid coming in. He has two heals for it. The queen ultimately going to go down here or at least go to ability for now. And probably go down before she gets through that wall, right? She's got a bunch of expos on her. She's uh, not long for this world. But in comes the hybrid going after the eagle artillery first. And then he has the heal spells to get him through all the way to the rest of the base. So the queen breaks through the wall. She finally drops. The healers transfer over. And he has the heal already down in place there to get him through the bomb tower. And he finally uses the ward ability. But now he has to go through this final scatter shot. And I feel like, like I said, a lightning. And then maybe a free spell. Just to finish it off there. And then uh, free something up. I think that might be really good there. Because he could use the freeze to protect the queen if he wanted to. So there's a lot of different things that we could do here to make this even stronger. But look at this. He's he just like shredded this base. He just tore it to shreds. Like, did he need those extra spells there from the invisibility? Like, it was just powerful. I, I love this. It's it's uh, really getting my uh, gear spin here. And I hope it is for you guys as well. But you know what? Let's go try out this, uh, this drag bat. I want to go try it against a uh, random base here. And we'll go see if we can take one down. All right. We're going to try to drop into this compartment, I think. Or we could go to the town hall area. Both of them looking pretty good here. Like, if I went to the town hall area, I'd be fighting the sweeper with the blimp. But if I go into this area over here, I wouldn't. But the town hall area, like, I'd have to drop into this wizard tower compartment. And if I could get there, I can get the town hall. I can get the inferno tower, the air defense. And then chain through and grab all these as well, okay? Um, is it worth it? I don't know. We're going to go to this compartment, though. We're going to go to this compartment. I think this is a good spot. And then we can... Oh, no. We, ha we have to go to this side, don't we? I think we have to go to the town hall if we want to do this base. Because if I don't go to the town hall, then I may not have enough punch to get through it later on. 
and there's no real bat value up on the top side of it so if i don't take it down then i don't really set myself up to use bats anywhere i think i have to go bomb out the town hall and then shoot the dragons through this area here coming up on the back side of this other sweeper and then have the heroes come in and grab out this air defense and work on the outside to keep the dragon centered so let's try that here we go we're gonna have to drop under the sweeper though so let's see if we can get this timing right and we'll see if we can get it down all right here we go okay i have to really thread the needle here right here comes the beam of the inferno Bridge up Okay. All right, there we go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, let's throw down a uh, baby dragon up here to go break that ring of defenses. We got a CC pull, or at least a part of part of a CC pull, and we'll send in a dragon. Oh, we'll throw a minion up in the top corner so to clear that out there. We're throwing a dragon here, 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 here. Oh, all of them. Yeah, we'll just throw them all down. We'll throw in a uh, baby dragon up here. We'll put in the king, ice golem, queen, and oh, we need the warden. Let's uh, throw down a warden ability soonish. Go now. We'll send in a couple. Uh, we'll pop that king, I guess. Um, let's throw in the RC here while the king's doing some tanking. Run a couple balloons out here, and that's hopefully enough, right? Let's send in the bats up in the top corner, and let's let them work through there. Freeze up the scatter in the air defense. Even get the dragons through there, right? Again. Hey, that, that's it. That's that's it. that's all we got. Is it enough? <laughs> yeah, it is. Of course it is. Look at that, guys. That's cool, right? That's pretty impressive. We don't need the poison here. I don't know what was in the CC. Maybe you had an ice hound in there or something that didn't come out. I don't know why it didn't come out or the wizards actually ended up killing it. I'm not sure, but we'll throw that. Uh, we'll throw that down there. We'll swag the queen ability and we'll go do a random attack now against a uh, just a base in, in like a Titans League, right? Oh, here we go. Here's some loot. OK, OK. What do you want to do? I want to hit the town hall. And I preferably want to land on top of this inferno here so we can grab a scatter shot too. That other scatter shot's under construction. So let's go see if we can rob this guy. And uh, we're going to use a couple extra balloons here to try to get in just so we can make sure we get through that. Okay. Let's go. All right, how much can we get out of this? Get the town hall, get the town hall. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Good stuff right there. Like I said, let's break the ring of defenses. Let's go with dragons on the bottom side of the base here, I guess. Let's just come in here. Did we get the eagle? Wow, we got the eagle out of that, guys. That's pretty crazy. Let's throw the warden up here. Throw in a couple balloons. Go we'll search for some black mines, right? And we'll have the heroes come in on the bottom corner, I guess. So we'll go king, queen. Send in a couple balloons down there just to go help out. We'll throw in a baby dragon up ahead. And I guess I could throw a minion out in the open over there. We'll use the warden now as we fight the single. And uh, I probably should have sent the dragons up on the top side, honestly. I wonder if we can circle all the way around and get this still. Like, I, I didn't really uh, pay attention to the top side, and I have two multi-infernos up there, so we're going to struggle to get through that potentially, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. Let's hold on to the Royal Champion ability for now, and maybe we can uh, make it through. Let's, uh, where's my king? Is he attacking a wall over there? What is he doing? All right. Let's uh, freeze up that uh, multi in the air defense there, see if we can get that air defense down, right? Let's go with... Where, where's my king now? Oh, he's over there. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. 
He's not the he's not the smartest king in the world, but he's uh, eventually gonna work his way around here. Let's send another road champion to go grab this multi. And I still don't know what to do with the bats yet, but we'll keep on going here. All right. We'll pop the king. And I guess we can start the bats on top of this inferno as soon as all the beams are tanked, right? Like now. All right, we got it. Easy day. Easy day. We got this, guys. We got this. I don't remember what came out of the CC, but we swagged the poison once again and we got another triple on the board. So, I mean, the dragons get a lot of uh, value after you... Take out a big section in the middle of the base there, right? Like the Wizard Blizzard obviously sets up a lot of different attacks here, but this one's fun. I like this one. If you guys are going to give it a shot, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what your favorite Wizard Blizzard attack might be. But that's what we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to use code ERIC if you're going to make any in-app purchase, whether it be a gold pass or one of those scenery packs because they're pretty cool. So, right? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Before I get carried away here. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. That's exciting. Get my new Royal Champion skin. Just finished up my gold pass. And there we go, guys. That is awesome. All right. Now, that's what we're going to wrap it up for today. So take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one.